what motivates you at work? What motivates you at work? Thomas, what motivates you at work? Working. Working. Oh. <laughs> Sanjay, <laughs> Sanjay, what motivates you at work? Wow. <laughs> I think working, I guess. Marit, oh. what motivates you at work? I make money, so I can get money. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, my today's presentation is based on the book called Drive. Mm. The author of this book is Daniel Pink. He is a very good writer. This book is about what motivates people. Mm. If you have not read it, I would highly recommend to read this book. This is what I want to get from my speech today. So I'll be talking about what motivates people. So when I'm giving the speech, reflect on your job. So if you are if you are happy with your job, you, there are some things which you still can work on that would improve your motivation, which finally leads to job satisfaction. In case if you are not happy with your job, I will give you some ideas that you can work to improve the motivation. Okay. There are two types of motivation. Intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. If I am working in my job just because I make a good money, then that's extrinsic motivation. If I am working in my job because I like my job, I like what I'm doing, I'm very happy with my job, then that's inter intrinsic motivation. This doesn't mean that money or rewards doesn't matter. I think it matters. It matters in some places. Let's talk about a person who's working in the grocery stores, uh, like Safe, near the checkout counter. His work is well defined. He doesn't need to think. It, it's a routine work. So when you have a routine work, I think I think rewards really help that person to get motivated. However. If I ask Misha, hey Misha, uh, we need to set up a program to increase our club membership. Then there is a lot of planning involved, a lot of thinking involved. It is not an easy step-by-step -step process. More than that, he needs to be intrinsically motivated to do the job well. My point is, as all of us needs, need a good pay, need a good reward, but after a point, what matters is the intrinsic motivation. There are three factors which drive the intrinsic motivation. Autonomous, mastery, and purpose. Remember AMP, LAMP or Amplifier, AMP, Autonomous, Mastery, and Purpose. I will talk about each, of each one of them. First, let's talk about autonomous. I think all of us have an innate need to have a say in what we do and how we do things. Imagine you are working for a boss. He tells you exactly what needs to be done. He doesn't take your input. Not only that, he tells you exact the steps on what needs to be done. He tells you the how part also. You just need to follow his procedure. Imagine how you feel like working in that type of an environment. Suffocated. How many of you have been in this type of an environment where your boss clearly told what needs to be done and how it needs to be done? It looks like all, most of <laughs> you are lucky. <laughs> so, so when you are in this environment, you are not autonomous. It's very difficult to get motivated in this environment. Now let's move on to the second factor, mastery. I'm working in my job. I like my job because it gives me opportunity to improve and master my skill sets every day. The skill sets I use are people management, then project management, and getting a very good understanding of our products. Few years back, I was working at a company. I made very good money. I could easily do the job, but I was not happy with the job because I felt that I was not learning or growing in that job. So what this means is, unless you have an opportunity to improve your skill sets or master your skill sets every day, 
I don't think you will be motivated enough to do a good job. Finally, the third factor, the last factor, but not the least factor, is purpose. Do you have an experience on working on a project which did not have a clear purpose? It's hard to do a job when you don't when you know that it doesn't have a clear purpose. I think in addition to that, all of us have an innate desire to work beyond self. To work, look for a meaning outside of the self. It is not just self-interest. A simple example could be somebody in our club helping another person to help in help reach him his education course. It can be as simple as that. There's nothing for that. There is nothing for that person, but it, it gives him a, some meaning and a satisfaction. So in conclusion, there are three factors which drives intrinsic motivation. Autonomous, mastery, and purpose. I will repeat, autonomous, mastery, and purpose. Even when one of these is not missing, will not be intrinsically motivated and I don't think we'll be able to do a good job. So my call to action is think about these factors. Think about your job and see how you can improve in these three areas. When you do this, you'll be very much motivated and you will have a good job satisfaction.